Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the Daily Read and it is for Monday the 1st of June 2020 for all signs. So as usual it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. So, angels, what is the message for Monday the 1st of June please? I remember my readings can resonate a few days either side of when they're released. So what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message that people need to hear? Success. Love it. Okay, this is the energy deck. What do we have, angels? Oh. <laughs> we have healer of the ages. I mean, that's a great message for the collective. We are healing. We are getting back on track. But yeah, maybe on an individual level as well. Okay, let's see what the cards have to say. Angel Spirits Guides, what do we have? Monday the 1st of June, 2020. For all signs, what do people need to hear please? What do people need to hear? Thank you. Three of Wands. High Priestess. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> Didn't we have some of these cards for the weekend read? I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> Seems like a similar message to me. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have the lovers, card of Gemini. I think it's Gemini season. Yeah, I'm feeling this is Gemini season. In Gemini season, there is some success here. Okay, okay. I love this card. So there is success coming. Success is coming. That's what you're being told. Um, it comes after healing. Now, healing can be in a number, a number of ways. This is, you know, sometimes we heal and we understand how to place our focus, where to place our energy. You know, we don't focus on the hurt or the difficulty that we needed to heal from, but we refocus on what is going to bring us success, what is going to bring us uplifting energy in every level. And I do feel for some of you, that is the change that's happening here. It's a powerful turning point. Because there is a message here of, of the Three of Wands is an Aries card. You know, this is about taking the initiative and really focusing your passions, your drive, your energy in what is going to bring you growth and turn your back on whatever you needed to heal from. Because this is a level of success. This is new growth by someone's actions. When they take action to almost manifest something new, and this is very good in terms of money and career, this is when the ships are beginning to come in. And I feel for some of you, there is success coming your way. It has taken a lot of hard work, but there's a message you need to have a new vision, have a new focus in where you're moving towards and really just put in the work, the energy and what is going to bring you greater value, greater reward in your life. Now for some of you this can be about getting recognition at work in terms of money, more money, more career, more, um, more recognition. Um, so some of you might be doing training or apprenticeships or um, coursework or getting professional qualifications all of this can be about what is going to be part of my new vision what is the work that I need to do to really get to this level of success it's almost kind of like this next level um, up I'm feeling and I think it is just about slowly but surely doing the work getting your head down and focusing on the tasks at hand that you need to do 
to slowly but surely bring success and reward into your life because it's the message of your ships are coming in from the hard work so it's a lovely energy remember this is a as a as a virgo energy as well the sun in virgo so it's a card of hard work will pay off the hard work not only changes your external fortune your money or success um, but it also changes your internal energy where you do something that you enjoy you focus on something that you enjoy and that you're good at and you will start re reaping the reward and that is the message here you might need to do some coursework you might need to get a professional qualification you might need to do some training here for or retrain there could be a retraining here maybe there's something new taking action towards something that fires your passions your desires um a level of retraining that might be needed but yeah it is heading it is bringing you success you are absolutely going in the right direction you know the nights are all about going in the right direction this is somebody who is putting in the work getting back on track maybe having healed again if we've got virgo energy here <clears throat> and it is there's a level of patience that's needed with the pentacles but the reward is coming now this can be about somebody making you an offer this can be about a long-awaited opportunity coming into your life because we have the ace of pentacles here <clears throat> and remember the knight of pentacles holds the ace of pentacles so where we had over the weekend the reward is coming i feel the reward is absolutely coming your way there could there could be some communication here somebody getting in contact with you it's interesting i'm tapping into the gemini energy of the lovers rather than the actual meaning of the lovers i feel it's gemini season but i also feel it's to do with a conversation it is to do with a communication that might be coming your way now you're being guided every step of the way here the high priestess you know and this is sometimes when you can't see everything clearly but you just have to do one thing at a time one positive productive thing at a time and work your way through a situation it is when you're being guided the most because the high priestess guides us through the murky waters of when we can't see things clearly when we don't see the big picture this is when we really just have to connect to our intuition and think okay i'm hoping this is going to work out but it is absolutely going to get you back on track it is absolutely going to get you in the right direction and this is destiny you know like I said, the Ace of Pentacles, a new door is opening, there is a window of opportunity, a new beginning as a result of this hard work. I do feel there is opportunity coming your way that will absolutely lead to success. That is all part of divine timing. The time is now. So this is the hand of God the Divine offering you this gift. This is where a gift is offered from the universe. You've been guided whether you knew it or not towards this gift the ace of pentacles there's a reason why there's a star in the pentacle because it is a blessing it is a gift from the universe all part of divine timing even though you couldn't see the way forward in all aspects of what you've been focusing on the universe does and it's almost kind of like that new path that new door is opening for you this is very good in terms of money and career in particular um, a Gemini or a Virgo could play an important part in helping you or supporting you through this or helping you find this new opportunity but nevertheless this can be a new door a new connection a new person or opportunity is coming into your life it is very much linked with the good fortune good luck divine timing destiny destiny is at work and the wheel of fortune is jupiterian energy expansion growth prosperity good luck good fortune um, it's a beautiful energy of things just beginning to fall into place there's been a lot of hard work there's been a lot of patience but i do feel some of you are going to get i mean this is very good for job offers this is very good also in terms of setting up your own business as well um, slowly but surely the hard work is going to start paying off you've had to be really patient but this is in line with your truth the high priestess and the wheel of fortune where you're meant to be the path you're meant to be on this can also link to new beginnings 
So I do feel that there is a big shift a big change for some of you that's happening. I do think it's a few days either side. I always say my readings resonate a few days either side of when they're released. And you know, it might well be that you need to make a choice or a decision on this. But I also feel with the lovers, like I said, I just feel in Gemini season, this will happen. Um, you're going to feel this energy shift, this change. Um, very good in terms of money career finances again it's very like the it's like one step further than we had over the weekend read and it's like it's coming your way i do feel this communication with the gemini energy yeah very strongly this is and remember the Gemini season is how you express yourself to the world, how you express yourself, how you communicate, how you speak your truth. But like I said, there could be some, I just see two people maybe having a conversation as well. I'm feeling that quite strongly for some of you. It's a really beautiful energy. Very exciting. It feels such a positive energy. Very good in terms of business ventures, beginning to pay off. You're absolutely doing what you're meant to do and getting greater recognition at work maybe, maybe moving jobs to get more money, also get more recognition. That could be in terms of title changes. You could also be studying to get that next level up, that bonus, that greater reward, greater responsibility. And it's all good. It's all good. I don't see any negativity in these cards. The only negativity is what you needed to heal from. But now you're on track for success. What do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Ah, yes. Frog, stepping into your power. Don't take a back seat in your story. It's time to step up. Yeah. And it's time. Wheel of Fortune. It is time. Beautiful. Oh, lovely. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.